So it says, but, uh, Acts 27, 42. And a soldier's counsel was to kill the prisoners if any of them should swim out and escape. Now, again, showing you how much of the enemy are, these men are, they were ready to kill Paul after all he had said. All right? These men didn't have no faith. They didn't believe in it like that. What happened? Verse 43, but a centurion willing to save Paul kept them from their purpose and commanded that they which could swim should cast themselves first into the sea and get to land. And the rest should and the rest, some on board and some on broken pieces of ships of the ship. And so it came to pass that they escaped all safe to land. So what does that show you? That the, the enemies of Paul were at peace with why? Through the blessed because he pleased the heavenly farmer. Alright? That's the same thing that we're gonna do. There may be certain people presented and that speaks to the point of what you're gonna have the enemy. They may have situations where it looks like you know the walls are closing in. But guess what? The heavenly farmer is always gonna provide a way for you to get out. So if you close out on this, it's Romans 13 and 1. Let every soul be subject to the higher powers, but there is no power but of the most high. The powers that be are ordained of the most high. And whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of the most high. So we, as our Lord said, when they said, you know, about um, they asked him about paying taxes, what did he say? He said, Who's, whose face is on the money? He said Caesar. He said, render unto Caesar what is Caesar. So basically he said, yo, you gotta go along with the rulers of the time because they, they have they've been set up to um, to run the world basically. Okay? And that's the same thing we gotta do. If you resist against the power of those men, you're basically resisting against the Heavenly Father's will. Because if you're mindful of the, the prophecies of the Heavenly Father, go to the book of like Daniel the seventh chapter, Daniel the eighth chapter. Uh, second is just the 11th chapter. These various uh, books of prophecy, even the book of Revelation, you had different men that rose up, as Gamaliel said in the council in Acts the 5th chapter, he said he gave an account of various men that tried to rise up against the rulers at the time and how they were, they were you know, killed or sent different ways into, uh, into the world. He basically said, look, he said, if, if a thing be ordained for the Heavenly Father, then there's no one that can resist His will. It's going to happen. So in saying that, that's the same thing. The Heavenly Father ordained for these things to happen. He has a plan and you will go with it. Don't fight against the tide. Verse 3, the rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. But he is the minister of the Most High to be for good. Yeah, even though this man is up in opposition to you, he's a minister of the good of the Heavenly Father. So that means that what? You have to walk in, you have to walk the line basically and do what you're meant to do. But the Heavenly Father is going to do what he needs to do in order to make sure that you are um, kept onto whatever lot your purpose. Okay? Um, verse 4, for he is the minister of the Most High to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is a minister of the Most High, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Yeah, man, we go into the book of Psalms 17, chapter. What did King David pray? He said, um, uh, Spare me from um, the. the, the the, the, the sword of the, the, the wicked, all right? At least paraphrasing, I believe it's Psalm 17 and 13. But basically it's like, hey, he understood the rulers at that time, the wicked, they were set up to be what? To kill. But he understood that the Heavenly Father had the, the, the governing of them. So in the, in the fact that the Heavenly Father had the governing over them, he knew he had to walk a line, a straight line before the Heavenly Father to be spared. With that man, that's 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 it man. We gotta do the same thing. So I pray you're edifying to the next one. Shalom one man, shalom.